knowledge adventure. Have fun. Get smart. As you may have found out by now, a time tunnel has been discovered that leads back to the three time periods of the age of the dinosaurs. The Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous periods. We've got an unbelievable chance to go back in time and save the dinosaurs before a giant comet hits the Earth! The comet is approaching at this very moment, so you have to act fast! Unfortunately, the time tunnel won't stay open for very long, so your mission must be divided into three levels. For the first level, we can keep the tunnel open the longest, but for each other level, you'll have less time to save the dinosaurs. Still, you'll be asked to save five dinosaurs to complete each level successfully, and it's not going to be easy. The time tunnels are built like mazes, and you'll have to watch out for wrong turns. You may run into a nest of deadly dromaeosauruses. Those are vicious cousins of the Velociraptor. If you bother them, you may lose precious time. Now for the worst part. The time tunnel is infested with gigantic prehistoric insects. We don't know how they got here or how they got this big, but they're mad and they want to go home. If you bump into one of these bugs, you'll definitely lose time. But if you look straight at them and press the right button, you might just vaporize them. I saw a Coelophysis once, but unfortunately I was only able to get a quick glance before I was knocked down by a three-fingered hand the size of my foot. I've been stalking dinos for years, and I was amazed to discover that Coelophysis was a two-legged meat eater. Watch out! You're heading towards the wrong time period! Tyrannosaurus rexes probably preyed on duck-billed hadrosaurs. There were no hadrosaurs in the Triassic period. Yeah, you better get your time period straight if you plan on saving those dinosaurs. Okay, one more time. This is the way to the Triassic period. Triceratops lived in the Cretaceous period. Since Segesaurus isn't in this time period, you might be searching for years. Hurry, go back to the time lab and try another time period. The Jurassic period was from 180 million B.C. to 135 million B.C. This period started at the end of the Jurassic period. Stegosaurus can be found in the Jurassic period. You're in the wrong time period. If I were you, I'd go back to the lab and try again. The hands of Platyosaurus had four fingers and a thumb with a sharp curved claw. With its long neck and tail, Platyosaurus could seek food in high and low places. Remember, there weren't many dinosaurs in the Triassic period. No, 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 you're going the wrong way! Iguanodons had large spikes in their front legs. Iguanodons lived in herds in what is now Europe, North America, and Africa. If the Jurassic period was hot and humid, why do I feel so cool? Apatosaurus lived in the Jurassic period. Allosaurus measured 30 to 40 feet long and had a giant head filled with sharp teeth. Allosaurus had powerful thighs and tiny little forearms. Have you ever asked yourself the question, what time is it? What I want to know is, what makes you think Hypsilophodon is near here? So, you think this is the right time period? <laughs> well, I wouldn't be so sure. Uh, I don't think I've seen any Brachiosauruses around these parts. <laughs> if life was as easy as finding a Velociraptor in the Triassic period, I'd still be lost in Yonkers. <laughs> Time is a real precious commodity, and you are wasting it. Pee-yee-yee-yee! I think I smell an Ankosaurus nearby. Ankosaurus was probably very good at escaping from Triassic predators. Remember, Coelophysis lived in the late Triassic period. This tunnel leads to the Jurassic period. By this time, Coelophysis had completely died out. All there is now is a bunch of bones. There were a lot of dinosaurs in the Jurassic period, but no Tyrannosaurs. Beware, Allosaurus lived in the Jurassic period and looks very similar to Tyrannosaurus. But Tyrannosaurus did not appear till the Cretaceous period.
Kid, even I had to learn my time periods. There's no way around it. The only way you're gonna find those dinos is by knowing when they lived and when they died. The Jurassic period ranged from 180 million B.C. to 135 million B.C. Remember, Triceratops lived around 70 million B.C. Segasaurus was a small and agile two-legged runner. Segasaurus probably fed on small lizards and amphibians. Stegosaurus had a small mouth with small teeth. Stegosaurus had two rows of triangular-shaped plates on its back. There were no saltosauruses in the Jurassic period. Eh, uh, I think you're way off track, buddy. Remember, Platyosaurus was one of the first dinosaurs. Hmm, it's been quite a while since I've seen a Platyosaurus. Uh, about 50 million years, to be exact. You know, it's quite possible that your dinosaur lived in this period. It's also possible that you're going to sprout wings and turn into a butterfly. <laughs> That's a joke. I wish I could help you, but I can't. Maybe if it was a Jurassic dino, I could. A fossil of Iguanodon was first discovered in England in 1809. Is it possible you went a little bit too far back in time? Oh, I wish I'd been this close when I was looking for dinos. A patasaurus weighed 30 tons and ate lots of low-lying vegetation. Oh, I wish I'd been this close when I was looking for dinos. It is thought that Allosaurus may have hunted large plant-eating dinosaurs. Kid, even I had to learn my time periods. There's no way around it. The only way you're going to find those dinos is by knowing when they lived and when they died. If you can find a Hypsilophodon in the Jurassic period, I'll give you a million bucks. Oh, I wish I'd been this close when I was looking for dinos. The giant Brachiosaurus lived during the late Jurassic period. You know, it's quite possible that your dinosaur lived in this period. It's also possible that you're going to sprout wings and turn into a butterfly. <laughs> That's a joke. Hey, you. Yeah, you. You lost, aren't you? Yeah, I knew it. Well, try another time period, eh? Kid, even I had to learn my time periods. There's no way around it. The only way you're going to find those dinos is by knowing when they lived and when they died. The Jurassic period is not the Triassic period, and the Triassic period is not the Jurassic period. Got it? Good. Whoa, I haven't seen a Coelophysis for over a hundred million years. Maybe you're looking in the wrong time period. You're heading to the time when the dinosaurs died out. Coelophysis was one of the first dinos. Tyrannosaurus rex was a terrible seven-ton meat-eater. Tyrannosaurus rex is scary. Many times I myself have barely escaped. It can run so fast on its hind feet, so be careful. Triceratops was among the best known of the horn-faced dinosaurs called ceratopids. It was also one of the last dinosaurs to live on the planet. Normally a peaceful plant eater, Triceratops offered the perfect defense against marauding predators. Its skull was built like an enormous shield with a thick neck frill and three sharp horns. Segasaurus was living 50 million years before this period even started. The Cretaceous period was from 135 million BC to 64 million BC, and Segasaurus lived around 180 million BC. Stegosaurus did not live in this period, I am sorry. <laughs> you want the Jurassic period, which came before the Cretaceous period. Things are definitely starting to feel warmer. It's getting awfully humid around here. Just the perfect environment for plants and ferns to grow. The Cretaceous period was from 135 million BC to 64 million BC. <laughs> no Platyosaurus is around here, dude. You know, I once spent 50 years looking for a dino in the wrong time period. If you're smart, you'll learn from my mistake. You know, Parasaurolophus had a very distinctive looking head. Parasaurolophus was a duck-billed dinosaur that stood on its hind legs. Things are definitely starting to feel warmer. It's getting awfully humid around here. Just the perfect environment for plants and ferns to grow. Iguanodons had to stay clear of giant carnivores like Tyrannosaurus rex and Albertosaurus. Um, there were no Apatosaurus left during this period. No one has ever seen an Apatosaur in the Cretaceous period. It's possible you could be the first, but I doubt it. 
Allosaurus was replaced by its descendants, Tyrannosaurus Rex and Albertosaurus. Are you sure you're looking in the right time period? Hypsilophodontids were members of a very successful dinosaur family. They had large eyes, cheeks to hold food as they chewed, and teeth that sharpened themselves and replaced themselves as they wore out. <laughs> wow, don't you wish you had teeth like that? I know I do. Judging from their long, strong back legs, these two-legged dinosaurs were very speedy. Uh, go try another time period, dude. Uh, I don't think you're gonna find any brachiosaurs here, bud. Velociraptor was lightweight, with long back legs for running, a stiff tail for balance, and needle-sharp teeth, and a fairly large brain. The middle toe of each hind foot on Velociraptor had a large, vicious, curved claw that could be used for slashing at its prey. The dino you're looking for has not been seen around these parts for at least 150 million years. Well, I've never seen the dino of the type you're looking for around here. Knowledge Adventure. Have fun. Get smart.